All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the final two activities for the week. The first is using uh, Mozilla Thimble again to uh, do a little bit more practicing with HTML. And the second is to take a look at some online tutorials if you want to take an even deeper look. But we'll start with this Mozilla Thimble. And it should look pretty familiar. It's the same um, tool that was used for the Awesome Animal Builder. And I actually created this one, and you could create your own too. You can actually start with a blank um, screen over here and build your HTML from scratch. But let's say you want to start with this. Uh, actually, when I was a girl, I did think I wanted a leopard as a pet. But I actually now have a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. And then again, let's change that image. So when you're actually searching for images for a website that you um, want to have uh, represent you, then you're not going to just do a generic search on Google. You're actually going to be worrying about copyright and stuff. And I will give you suggestions on how to do that. But for these exercises, um, I think it's OK to use these images from Google. I'm going to do that. And then I could replace this text. Now, the thing I wanted to show you here that we haven't done yet are links. So you see these are all hyperlinks. So if I click them, they will go to a website. And the way we know they're hyperlinks in HTML is we see this A for anchor tag, href. And this is actually the website it's going to go to. So let's replace that. Let's find another website. And we're going to highlight inside the quotes again. And then obviously I want to change the words that appear on this. So this is a obsessive corgi disorder, I believe. And we can find another link tag, replace that. This is the Wikipedia article. And then maybe I didn't, don't even want that third link, so I can just erase that. So I could erase it, or I could, um, if you want to create more links, instead of typing that code out, just copy and paste it. And you've got many more links that you can um, edit. And I'll go ahead and take those away right now. And you'll see, oh, I didn't catch something. See how it's on the screen? So you've got to make sure you catch all your tags. We'll call this corgi links. And then the very last thing I wanted to show you is you can actually start embedding videos. So um, here's a entertaining video of a, a corgi getting vacuum. So what you want to do is you want to go to the embed code and copy this. And you can just paste this right into your, well, there is the corgi getting vacuumed. And then again, you can publish this and share it with the group. I hope you'll create uh, your own awesome, cool website about some favorite uh, topic of yours. The other thing I want to talk about are these tutorials. Uh, these are tutorials that I've actually used. There's many, 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 many more than these, but I just wanted to recommend ones that I've actually used. Uh, Make Your Own Website by Skill Crush. What I love about this is it's geared uh, toward women and so, and it's free, so you um, can sign up and it takes you through um, a set of tutorials that have both video and then they also have a tool very similar to Mozilla Thimble uh, where you can experiment with um, creating websites. So that's one. Uh, Code Avengers, I really love Code Avengers. Um, maybe it's because I work with kids and that kind of uh, uh, interesting graphics. But I also just like the way uh, that their lessons are set up. So this is where you would uh, start with HTML. And you do want to sign up because, uh, again, it's free. But the thing about signing up is it'll keep track of where you are in the lesson. So you can leave, come back, and it's kept track of where you are. There's also Code Academy, which I have tried to use. Um, I have found it, uh, I, I just, I haven't had as much success using this, but a lot of people love it. So again, I wanted to offer a lot of options. And in fact, I think one of the ways that we could be really helpful for others is to provide reviews of 
what works and what doesn't work when you've uh, been trying a tutorial out. So if you would look at these and then kind of give your feedback as to what um, you liked about a particular tutorial or not, um, I think that would be great. Uh, Treehouse, this is a very video-based tutorial. Um, they do have some challenges to take. And uh, I like I like this one. Uh, they offer also paid for classes, but their website basics happens to be free. Uh, Lynda.com also has tutorials that you can pay for, but this happens to be free. And finally, I uh, I don't go through this tutorial straight. This W3 Schools has so much information, but I find this a great place if you're just looking for something to okay, I, I got to figure out what this tag means, or I got to figure out how to do this. You know, use their search and they will come up and they give examples and uh, I find uh, that very helpful. I've also provided a HTML tag cheat sheet to go with the thimble that you're seeing, um, the, my favorite animal, animal uh, website and it gives all the information about the tags on that. And finally, uh, there's an HTML reference which are, you see a tag, you don't know what it is, that iframe tag actually came up with the video and it explains exactly uh, what each of those tags does. So hopefully you'll find um, a lot of information you need about what is uh, going on with HTML in these tags and these links and I hope that you will share your experience with the group and good luck!